Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna do a fun little video. Mike gave us a little challenge. Uh, he had some stuff laying around the warehouse. I have a chassis sitting here in the driveway that we have left over for Nords to pick up. He said, I dare you guys to make a whole car in a day out of uh, these parts that he's got laying around. So Mike just brought us a truckload of Model A parts and uh, said, here, see if you can put this together. And this is what we got. So a lot of this stuff is from our West Virginia haul. If you guys remember, I was digging around outside in the leaves and I found like the majority of a Model A body sitting around there. So Mike thinks we have enough here to put a car together. We're gonna find out, should be pretty fun. Um, so we're gonna take all this stuff, roll it inside and show you guys how easy it is to kind of put a car together within an afternoon uh, with just stock board junk. So here's our chassis. I gotta get all this junk wood laying off of it. We're gonna try and turn this thing into a functioning, I shouldn't say functioning, but rollable vehicle, air quotations, by the end of the day. So let's get started. Thank you. So anytime you're building any of this early Ford junk, uh, this will be a, a, a tutorial and putting together junk from junk. Uh, so start with a sub rail setup. Uh, a good uh, thing to use is like from a four door, a lot of times you'll find these. So this is a, the sub rails for pretty much all Model A's. I should say all, but you know, 20, 29s are basically all the same for the body styles for a passenger car. There's some small differences if it's a four door, but if you're building a hot rod, it really doesn't matter. Or you're building something on a budget. So we got the sub rails bolted down. It's the first thing to do. Locate all your bolts. And we got the cow feet folded down at the front there. There, you can see there's a little section of sub rail that is missing that when these two pieces, they weren't off the same car, so somebody uh, cut a little further there. No big deal. That's a little piece that could be replaced. Um, we did the same thing on Mike's car. Like Mike's 34 is the same idea. It's got a four door floor and sub rails in it. And we're making that all work with his cabriolet. So that's one of the nice things with early Fords is you can 
if you could find like a four door or a castaway that everything's rotten but the sub rails are good, it's a good starting point. So now that we got these two pieces in, we can start working our way back and kind of connecting everything. Um, we're gonna grab the doors and some other pieces and see what we can make work. And do a pressure washing video next. Yeah.
that stayed right there. Yep. So we need this back end to go down some. The big gap there, right? Oh, right here. The gap gets bigger as it goes down. Yep. So now I'll let this down. I'll let this loose if you guys want to let it down. Just to Yeah. 
in that mercury we got out of the junkyard. And I, I was fighting that thing all summer. I wish we had it on video. When they came to the they were looking at me and I, I found another spot and I sprayed it. And I, I was trying to like, they were attacking me. Yep. I tripped over something and did a barrel roll. <laughs> they get sprayed. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like you like practice karate they out there or something. They're relentless. They don't, let, they don't let you go. Man. Right. Very aggressive. Yep. And All right, drill time. They can sting you more than once. Yep. Uh, Mike definitely did not give us a, a, any good parts. He lost stuff from the warehouse. Yep, he literally was like, can we build a Model A with all the junk we have laying around? I'm like, yeah, I probably can. He's like, all right, here's the pile. Let's see you do it. <laughs> uh, I'll be back later. Right. Back to the video. Yeah. See, it really don't matter too much. Yeah. Because this real centers on the on the neck, so it won't fall off. Okay. So we rolled the car outside, and it is now called a car, not parts. <laughs> and uh, Dad went and power washed it. Uh, we kind of agree. We don't know if power washing made it look better or worse, uh, maybe worse. I don't know. But it uh, it opened up some spots where the metal was a little thin. But we knocked off a bunch of the, like mud and dirt and dust that was on the thing just from all the different places these parts were sitting. Uh, it now is kind of true to what the car is. So, um, but. This video should show you how quickly and easily uh, you can kind of toss one of these cars together. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of work in cross measuring and getting everything just right before you actually weld the body to the subrails. But we kind of have all the major pieces here, so uh, you can start building from here, which is really nice. So uh, we did it. We, uh, we met Mike's challenge of getting uh, a car built in an afternoon or a day, rather and uh, we got it literally done power washing right when Mike came home from the warehouse. And within like an eight hour work day, we basically had, I, I don't even think it took that, it might've been four hours, five hours. 
I messed around in the morning a bunch. But anyways, <laughs> so we, we, got, uh, we got this thing together and it is pretty darn cool. So, typical. This will be going for sale. So if anybody's interested, the other reason we were putting this together is we thought we'd put together a cheap entry level uh, hot rod or antique car project. A lot of times we get comments in our videos where people are complaining that uh, they're priced out of the market or out of the hobby, et cetera, et cetera. This is going to be very affordable and you pretty much get everything you need, major parts you need to start putting a car back together. So check out our Instagram. If you're interested, you can send an email, irontrapgarage at gmail.com. Or if it doesn't sell, you might see it at Carlisle or Hershey coming up this fall. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.